Good morning, everyone. Since um, this year is a leap year, there's no February 29th for the faith I live by. So I'll be reading my life today, preparing for power um, from February 23rd. And the verse is Acts 319. Repent you therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Instead of being worked by the Holy Spirit, many even among those engaged in the solemn work of God are barring the way against its holy life giving influences. They freely criticize and judge their brethren and yet they do not realize the necessity of earnestly looking into the divine mirror to see what spirit they themselves are manifesting. Their defects of character they regard as virtues and cling to them. Let there be a work of reformation and repentance. Let all seek for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as with the disciples after the ascension of Christ. It may require several days of earnestly seeking God and putting away of sin. When God's people are worked by the Holy Spirit, they will manifest a zeal that is according to knowledge. They will reflect the light that God has been given for years. The spirit of criticism will be put away. Filled with the spirit of humility, they will be of one mind, united with one another and with Christ. When a man is filled with the spirit, the more severely he is tested and tried, the more clearly he proves that he is a representative of Christ. The peace that dwells in the soul is seen on the countenance. The words and actions express the love of the Savior. There is no striving for the highest place. Self is renounced. The name of Jesus is written on all that is said and done. When the truth in its simplicity is lived in every place, then God will work through his angels as he worked on the day of Pentecost and hearts will be changed so decidedly that there will be a manifestation of the influence of genuine truth as is represented in the descent of the Holy Spirit. I hope you have a great day. Live in faith.